Minnesota Duluth coach Scott Sandelman, defenseman Willie Roscoff, and Andy Walensky. Before we get to the questions, coach, if you can give us just an overview. Okay, first uh, I want to congratulate St. Cloud uh, on the tournament championship. Uh, they've had a great year. It was their 31st win. Um, certainly a team that uh, could go a long way. So congrats to them. Um, I thought we had a great first period. Uh, kind of the, not a lot happening, but we got the lead. I thought we were playing real well, and I thought a couple things changed the game a little bit. Penalty at the end of the first, and and uh, something I won't discuss uh, that led to their goal. But uh, I think our last uh, 30 plus minutes was the way we've been playing, and they were very opportunistic, and, and that's what they do. They scored a lot of goals this year, and they, they know how to score, and, and they found ways to to get those goals and win a hockey game. So. Something uh, certainly disappointing, but you know, give them credit too. Scott, how much did the, the penalty at the end of the first and then on another one earlier there in the second kind of maybe kill some of the momentum mm -hmm. you guys had going? Well, I think it did. There's no question. I, I mean, but you know, our guys, you know, tried to just make sure we went out and killed off the, the remainder of it, and our guys did that and tried to want to kind of get back to maybe what we were doing in the first period, but um, just never seemed to get on track again then. And uh, and obviously they got that goal and I thought things went a little more south. So um, they're not a team, you know, they're, they're a team that can strike quick and, and, and score. And, you know, fortunately that didn't happen, but uh, they did get the lead and carry that into the third period. With that said, you kept that their power play off the board. I mean, that's mm -hmm. been kind of their trademark all season. Was that, you know, a thought going in is to stay out of the box? Well, every time you play them, I think that's why we've had success against them. Uh, certainly, in, the, you know, in the past, um, you, know, you can't give them too many opportunities on the power play. Uh, they're very dangerous. Uh, I think when we played them in St. Cloud, they were just under 30 percent. So I think that speaks for itself. But our guys did a good job there too, and our penalty killers have been good all year. Um, so I'll give those guys some credit too. And, but that's obviously a focus when you when you play teams that have that kind of power play. Andy, uh, from a defensive standpoint, what adjustments did you think St. Cloud made from the series a couple weeks ago to this one that enabled them to have more success offensively? Um, they're obviously a fast team. I think they um, they moved the puck well. Um, we did a pretty good job of, of containing them, but I think we um, at times gave them a little too much space. Um, they do a good job of, of getting lost in the D zone. Um, they do a lot of movement, um, you know, offensively and defensively. They're always moving around, and um, I think at times we, we lost guys a little bit in our defensive zone, and um, you know they capitalize on their chances. Willie, team, you only got the one goal tonight, but offense has been coming a lot easier it seems for you guys. And I think part of that's been because the, the defensemen are getting so involved. You said Susie tonight. What kind of adjustments have you guys made on, on the blue line to, to get more involved? And, and has there been a more of a green light to, to start stepping up and out and play a little bit. Um, I think the biggest thing is just you know these last you know this last month and a half we've had a lot more confidence and um, comes with scoring more goals and when you're uh, in you know Cass has been playing great so when you got confidence in your goalie you know you're not afraid to get up in the play and you know we've been finding success so I think the more success you find it it's easier to keep doing it and um, you know I don't think there's been anything said as much as just you know playing with more confidence and guys getting up in the rush and having success. For you personally, was, was this weekend a pretty big confidence builder? You were involved in, in, in yeah, almost I mean, every team goal. You know, it's guys making good plays off of, you know, passes that I made. Guys got in the right spots. I was able to make a good play. But, you know, it's um, that comes from our forwards working hard, doing the right things. And, you know, it's, it's five guys on the ice doing things that end up scoring goals. And I think I was just lucky enough to end up making the play that ended up going in the net. Andy, what's the feeling like right now? You obviously came up short today, but probably did enough this weekend to get into the NCAA tournament. And, you know, bittersweet, or how, how do you guys feel as a team? Uh, well, I think right now it's it's uh, you know we had a we had a good run. Hopefully, the the work that we've done the past uh, well, I mean the entire year, but uh, especially the last uh, month month and a half here, um, getting some big wins. Uh, you know, hopefully that's enough for us to get in. I think. Uh, I don't want to say frustrated, but I mean maybe a little disappointed. I think we, uh, our confidence was high, and um, we had every intention of winning this hockey game. I think we came in um, with a good attitude, and, and we started that way. We played well. Uh, you know, it's it's unfortunate that we we didn't come out on top, but I think it's 
I said it's playoff hockey. It's it's um, obviously very competitive. All the games were this weekend, and I think that's uh, you know that's all you can ask for is just that that kind of intensity all the time. Scott, how aware were you of the scores going on in some of the other games that would uh, determine whether you guys get to move on? I wasn't aware at all. <clears throat> um, if, I think someone had told me Northeastern was at one nothing. I said I didn't want to know about any scores. Focus needs to be on this game, and you know you want to win. I mean, you get opportunities to play for you know championships. You want to win, and our guys were certainly focused on that and kind of got away from us a little bit. But uh, if we get another chance, uh, we need to go on another run and hopefully get after the other one. So that's the last one standing for whoever's left. Scott, how did can you take in the whole experience of being in this tournament for the first time and what it was like for, for your team? Yeah, it was great. I mean, uh, number one, you know, I was happy for all of our players to get an opportunity, certainly our seniors that hadn't had an opportunity to play here. It's good for your young players to, to experience this because it is similar to moving on to regionals and, and, and maybe not the Frozen Four, but very similar. You need to be in those positions to learn how hard it is. Um, obviously, when you get here within our league, You've got four great teams, no matter who it is. And the competition is just like it is during the year. It's high. It's, it's a great challenge. To, it's always hard to beat two teams on a weekend. You know, it's the same thing coming in here. It's hard to, to win two games. And but just overall, I think uh, it, it's been a good experience for our guys. I think they've done, the league's done a great job. Uh, I know they've worked hard to, to continue to improve you know, the tournament from the first year and, uh, you know, obviously um, the environment was great too. So uh, I give it a thumbs up. It was great, except for the loss. Two more questions. Fourth NCAA tournament trip likely for your team in the past six years. What, you know, <laughs> what does that say about kind of consistency of the program? Well, I guess it's a uh, Something that you strive for. I mean, obviously, at the end of the year, you want to be one of those teams that, that has an opportunity to play for, you know, a national championship. And um, again, it's those experiences that I think are exciting for the players. Um, and certainly, when you have a team like some of our guys have, have gone on to the regional. Last year, we came up a game short of getting to the Frozen Four. So. Um, those experiences, uh, when you get that, you want to have more of those. And for your young players to get there, to know how hard it is to get there, and then to be a part of that tournament as long as it lasts, uh, they get a good understanding of what, when they come in as freshmen, they really don't know. They're still thinking junior hockey, they got 60 games, and every game is critical in college hockey. And um, so those experiences are good. And But, you know, if we are, we appreciative of trying to be one of those teams at the end of the year and that's what that's one of the goals you shoot for any preference where you go no thanks Dylan.